Hey, what's up folks? In this project, we're building a MIDI drum kit using solenoids in CircuitPython. This uses an Adafruit Feather M4 and a ULN 2803 Darlington driver to power 12 volt solenoids. You can create your own MIDI drum kit using our 3D printed parts and electronics from Adafruit. The control box features four DC inputs for triggering 12 volt solenoids. We put this four piece kit together and used a practice drum pad with a pair of small cymbals. The mallet uses a mechanical linkage to create a pivoting joint near the plunger. To create a kick drum, we mounted a solenoid to a piece of 2020 extrusion. The feather and solenoid driver are housed in a snap fit case with a removable top cover. The design is pretty modular and it can be adapted to different surfaces so you can customize this to create your own kit. The code for this project was written in CircuitPython by Liz Clark. It uses the USB MIDI library to set up the Feather as a MIDI in device so it can receive MIDI data. Digital pins are set up as outputs so MIDI notes can be sent to trigger the solenoids. The Feather shows up as a native USB MIDI device when it's connected to a desktop. We use Logic Pro to create an external MIDI track and assign the Feather M4 as the port. This way we can play back MIDI notes and do some live keyboard playing. The solenoids are kept on beat by using time.monotonic, which avoids running into delay issues. The code features comments, along with a thorough walkthrough in the learn guide. The CAD assembly uses various hardware and features joints to simulate the motion of the linkage. The source is available to download so folks can remix it and use it in their builds. You can get the parts to build this project, links are in the description. The 3D printed parts are designed to print with PLA and don't require any support material. Building instruments is a lot of fun, but we think this could also be adapted for other projects like automation or even accessibility. We hope this inspires you to use CircuitPython in your projects and be sure to check out Adafruit for all of your electronics.